Well, here we are again at another Doctrinal Mastery review. Now, this one is focused on understanding and explaining. And one of the things that they want you to do is to, um, and this opening exercise is great, by the way, under scripture study skills, it's giving the students different tools they can use to help to dig deeper into one or more of the scriptures they choose, cross-referencing, defining words and phrases, and so forth. Let me offer three things that might also help or that might be a better fit for your class. One, when you're talking about defining words, remember that in your Gospel Library app, and here I'm going to just, this is uh, 3 Nephi 11, 10 through 11. Um, I have suffered the will of the Father. Now I'm going to press and hold on the word suffered. And when I do, it gives me, whoops, there it is. It gives me an option. I press and hold on the word, and then you can see right above it is an option for define. So if I press that, it gives me some dictionary definitions from modern dictionaries on suffer, which are good definitions, but let me share with you another church-approved resource. This is the Webster's Dictionary from 1828. This will give you a sense of what these words meant when Joseph was doing the translation. So we looked at suffer before. Let's just look at it here in the dictionary from 1828. I'll put a link, by the way, to this in the description. To feel or bear what is painful. I think this is interesting. To endure, support, to sustain, not to sink under. So when Jesus talks about how he suffered the will of the Father, does this or some of these other things help give us a richer understanding of what that means? Would it help your students to have a deeper understanding? So feel free to have them use the 1828 dictionary. Again, I'll put a link in the description. But let me also offer this recommendation. If you're not familiar with the Scripture Citation Index, you can access it at scriptures.byu.edu. I'll put a link in the description. But there's also a mobile app your students can use. So here's how you might use it. First of all, come over to this side, Book of Mormon, and then let's go to the Third Nephi one again. So we click Third Nephi, we go to chapter 11, and then let's scroll down looking for verses 10 through 11. Here we've got 22 general conference entries. These are general conference talks that have referenced this scripture in particular. If we click on it, here we can see that the most recent was in 2022. This O stands for October Conference or April Conference. And then this is the page number and the speaker. You can watch or listen to it, but if you click it, it will show up here in the center at just the spot, you can see the orange here, where that scripture is being used. This can be a really great way for students to take a look at how prophets today are using that scripture in what they're teaching. And it might provide stories or contexts and sometimes um, a deeper understanding of these doctrinal mastery scriptures. I would really encourage you to have your students take some time in the words of living prophets and church leaders to help them to better understand uh, how they might apply that scripture in a modern context. So feel free to use those sources to help your students to have a richer understanding as they explore and study those great doctrinal mastery scriptures. These are great scripture study skills that your students will carry with them. Have a great time with this.